Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog. So it is what are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? It is absolutely pissing it down. Uh which means uh we can't really do much farm wise. I do have to move the tractor because I promised the uh the uh, neighbor business that I will move the uh tractor. So just get under the rain. Um so because it's raining, but I leave that on. I left the lights on. Oh no. I hope it starts. Oh, thank goodness. Woo, Billy. Shouldn't do that. Uh, anyway, so I need to take the tractor away from here for now. Uh, and then I'm kind of expecting, because it's farm, uh, it's it's raining, and you can't really do much farm-wise when it's raining. I'm kind of expecting Zach uh, and Josiah to decide to go hunting today. I'm kind of hoping. Uh, it shouldn't be the whole day, so uh, I don't think we're necessarily going to go now. Uh, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead to the field and see what's going on there. Uh, see how the growth is coming along and all that good stuff. And see if there's maybe something I can do now. Uh, even if there isn't, I do have to move the tractor. I can't keep it in front of the business, so in front of uh, the adventure store. So, don't really have a choice, but that's okay. Uh, we'll just park it with the our other implements. So I think we'll just... Oh no. Oh no. Somebody stole our tree. What the hell? You know, I, it's actually been when going around with, with tree prices going up or having been so high. I cannot believe this. This is really annoying. Uh... It's actually been been a bit of a problem in the area, so trees like that one, which I have been told is very expensive, uh, are getting cut down in, you know, at night when, when people aren't there. So, oh man, this is so frustrating. What the hell? Come on, who steals a tree? Really? Really? Like, this is just ridiculous. Uh, I'm gonna have a... I mean, there's not much I can do, to be honest. Uh... If that was a business, there are lights on. Maybe maybe I should go have a look. Uh, maybe I should go have a look if, if somebody could maybe give me some intel on uh, who the hell could have potentially stole our tree. I thought this house across was... Currently, we're getting so wet now. Was um, currently not being occupied by anyone, but there seemed to be a light on in there. Maybe somebody saw something. I don't know. Oh, man. Can't believe it. That's so annoying. I'm really sad now. That was a really cool tree. That was a tree I, I really liked. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to knock on the door, see if anyone answers. Uh, and then we'll, we'll see, see if we can find anything out. All right, unfortunately, nobody answered the door. I don't think anyone's here. I think they might have just for either forgotten the lights on or left it on because, you know, it's a deterrent, I guess. Man, that's so frustrating. I cannot believe that. What the hell? Who would steal a tree? Seriously. I mean, I get why. Like, I was told it's a very, very expensive tree. I even took the stump. Bloody hell. Anyway, that is what it is. There's not much we can do about it right now. Uh, well, there's not much we can do about it anyway. So, I don't really have anything else to do. I'm going to give Zach a call. I'm just going to get in the tractor and maybe... I mean, I'm still going to get wet because it's not really waterproof. It doesn't have sides on. But I'm going to get in and uh, I'll just give Zach a call and see what's the deal with the hunting. So, I'll uh, speak to you guys in a sec. Right, so, just spoke to Zach, uh, they didn't actually think about it, but uh, since I mentioned it, they decided, well, Zach decided it's a pretty good day to go hunting. Uh, we'll check the weather for where we're going, but to be honest, it doesn't really matter, we'll just carry pack rain gear if we need to. Uh, so we are going to go hunting. Uh, he said I should go swing by his house, and then, you know, we'll go from there, we'll sit down, wait for Josiah to come around, and then we'll, we'll go. So I'm going to head to his house now. Uh, I don't need the lights on. It's pretty friggin' gloomy, isn't it? 
Anyway, I'm gonna head to his house now, and then we'll just wait for Josiah. Uh, he's not awake yet, or he wasn't awake when I left home. Uh, but Zach said he's gonna give him a call while I move, while I drive to him, and then, yeah, we'll hopefully go hunting if Josiah's up for it. Uh, yeah, we'll see, I guess. So yeah, I'm gonna drive there, see you guys there, uh, or just see you guys when we go hunting, I guess. When we're out and about and ready to go. Uh, so yeah, see you guys there. All right, guys, we are here. It is uh, pretty beautiful out here. Uh, so uh, Zach dropped me off here. Uh, well, he dropped me off up there. I walked down to here. He said this is where it is, uh, where the ha the cabin is. And he advised we stay roughly close to it, or at least know where it is. Uh, so I marked it on my phone, so we should be able to find it. Uh, and we're going to go out now and see what we can find. So I'm thinking if we can go down to where there's water, we can get something. We should be able to get something there and uh, maybe get a kill or two. Uh, a, a trophy or two i guess and uh we'll see we'll see what we can get so uh i will turn on the gopro as uh, things develop as i find things and all that good stuff uh, i'm gonna i've got a, a cap of five as in i can i can kill five uh with three hunters out here today uh in different areas as in different locations so it should be fine uh, but i also do need to let them know if i cross certain boundaries i need to let them know uh, so that they don't mistake me for a deer <laughs> and I don't mistake them for a deer, if you know what I mean. So, um, for now, I'm going to head down to the lake, uh, Josiah pointed in this direction. So, <laughs> uh, I should be seeing it soon. I think, yep, that's a lake over there. Uh, I'm kind of thinking that's the best place for deer to hang out or to hunt deer because I mean, all animals and deer need water. So... Uh, we're actually spending the night here, which is really cool, which I'm very, very excited about. Uh, it should be quite fun. Uh, we're all going to meet at this cabin and we're staying the night here. But, because uh, it was a long drive, uh, but we all wanted to get out a little bit and get a little bit of hunting done. So we're all out on our own little areas. Uh, I'm lucky to stay here because I don't have a vehicle. So... Uh, because I don't have a vehicle, so, uh, is that something there? No. So, um, I'm staying here, close to the hut, and uh, hopefully I can find my way back. Right, I'm gonna go down to the water, and, uh, I'll see you guys if I find anything. Alright, so I didn't actually get anything, uh, but we're spending the night here, and I'll, uh, I will probably go out the next morning, or tomorrow morning, uh, for a little bit before we head back. Uh, it's a couple of hours drive, so we won't have the whole day. But uh, yeah, I'm going to actually get food going. These guys, the other guys aren't here yet, so I'll get the food going. And uh, we can go to bed, and uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Uh, it is about half past seven. Uh, everyone's gone already, uh, gone to their separate hunting locations. Uh, oh, whoa. Oh, no. Oh, nearly. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, I am going to head down to the water again. It's quite a walk. It's about, probably about a kilometer walk. Uh, so it's going to take a while, but that's okay. Uh, I'll get there eventually. Uh, and then, uh, we'll do some, uh, some good old hunting, hopefully. Uh, I'm not going to try and get the five allocated, uh, hunts or trophies uh, i'm just gonna try and get at least one or two uh, and i don't want to take any chances with shooting any one of them because it's you know if you if you wound one you have to track it and then we might only get back home really really late tonight so uh, i'm gonna try and avoid that so for now uh i'm gonna take the walk down i'll probably jog a little bit of it uh just because some of it's flat ground this next bit isn't it's all downhill but once I'm on the flat ground, uh, I'll jog a little bit of it just to get there. I don't want to waste the other guy's time. They've given me about two hours, so uh, yeah, we'll see what we can get in two hours. All right, we'll see you guys at the water.
I mean, just look at that view. What a beautiful view. Wow. That is so nice. So we'll be, we'll be down there somewhere. Uh, I think I was over... The, yeah, I was on that by that tree yesterday. So I might go past it. Might go around there. Uh, might we go sit on that island so we can see all around this coastline here, which would be a good point, uh, vantage point. Good idea. Uh, but yeah, maybe that's a good one as well because we can see... All around here. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna head off there. Uh, sorry, I interrupted myself there. Uh, my walk to tell you guys, to show you guys a view. So yeah, here we go. All right, guys, look what we got here. I'm gonna. He's speaking quite softly, and uh, move in slow. I want to try and sneak up on these deer. If I can get one. I think they might have heard me. I actually got him, guys. I did get him. That's good. Thank goodness for that. Oh, that was a... Uh, that was a bit stressful, to be honest. Oh, we got him. So I need to uh, call Zach, share the deer's location on WhatsApp, and then see if I can get maybe one or two more. Got another one here. There we go. We got another one. Got a second. All right, I'm going to mark this one and uh, see what Zach says. Give him a call. All right, guys, we are back. So, uh, as you can see, we've got a little bit more money. Uh, we got just over 2,000, I think it was 2,102 from the two deer that we shot. Uh, it would have been less uh, if we took the meat, but we didn't really have uh, space. Well, we don't have a freezer ourselves. And Josiah, he got three deer and uh, he's taking some of that meat. So there's not any space in there. So we just gave him you know, gave it all away, I guess, uh, or had them take it all, uh, and then therefore got a little bit more money, and also, uh, Isaac's field that we plowed the other day, wow, this is now three days ago already, two, two days ago, yeah, two days ago, uh, that has come in to the bank as well, so he's paid that through somewhere in the last two days, uh, so very happy with that, which means we could probably afford, uh, potentially, a next field i don't necessarily know if it's worth doing that uh, it might be worth saving that money uh because we will have we will eventually have to harvest what we've got here so yeah it might be worth saving that for now and seeing you know how much we can we can save and eventually harvest uh or buy a harvester uh, because we will need one for our barley so ooh, it's not a stop for me anyway so that might be the best option i really do want to buy an next field uh and maybe do some some grass on that but the problem is if we do if we do grass uh we will need more equipment so i don't know if that's the best idea uh and it's quite expensive equipment we need you know it will do silage most likely is my goal there so We'll probably be doing. I need. We we need a mower. We need a cedar. Uh, we need a baler. Uh, you know, all of these. Uh, all of these things that are really, really expensive. So it's not just a case of buying a field. Anyway, I will be parking the tractor here again. I'll make sure I remove it tomorrow. Uh, make sure I turn the lights off this time. There you go. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, I'll probably just go to bed. To be honest, I'm quite tired the last two days. I've been absolute bold. Like, it's been so much fun. But, uh, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm hungry. And I'm tired. So, I'm gonna say goodbye on the vlog here. 
I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please do let me know by smashing the like button. If you want to see more hunting, let me know. Maybe I should spend a couple of grand on uh, on buying a weapon and some gear, a rifle and some gear, and then maybe we can make you know do it more. Maybe I can I can uh, buy that weapon off Zach. So I don't know, or I can't remember who it was. It's been two crazy days. So tired. Have a good one, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.